Hi guys, I'm back. So uh, this is the third video for today and this is going to be the last one. Yeah. Then tomorrow there's another pouring day. But we're having some exceptional weather again, guys. Yeah, believe it or not, it is sunny and warm here in Holland. And um, I might, tomorrow I just might really enjoy some of it. I usually don't do that. because of the uh, skin cancer thing. Sorry to say that, but it's true. You know, it's uh, ridiculous that you can't even trust the sunscreen these days. I gotta make this one a little bit thinner because it's uh, thickened up on me. But it's true, there was a, an article online that said, you know, uh, even after half a year, if you have that stuff, you should throw them out each year because the, uh, the sunscreen sort of, I don't know, it sort of disappears. Ooh, that is really thick. I don't know why. Oh, that, I think that was a wrong one. That's right. Okay. So, um... That's why I don't go into the sun too much, and only with good sunscreen. So here we go. Mixing it all up. I'm going to do a little ocean pour. Haven't done that in a long, long time. And uh, what I'm doing is a uh, test piece to see uh, if it's pretty. And then if it is, I'm going to do a big one tomorrow. So here we are, that's all done. Then the white is ready as we speak. And we're gonna fill up these little cups because I'm gonna put four on them, four on the little canvas. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start with a little bit of white, not too much though, because uh, otherwise it might, you know, cover all the colors. But this is going to come out last, so, and because it's the heaviest color, that's why I put it in first. So I'm going to give it, I'm not going to do all the same colors, so this one's going to have more of the turquoise. That's that. Then I'm going to put in blue in all of them, because I like this color blue. Then I have a green turquoise. Uh, maybe I should put in a little bit more white. You know, just to separate those colors. It goes straight through. That's that. Then I have this color. And then I have a darker color. I'm trying to get it on top. But then you have to pour real closely. Then it'll go on top. See that? And then this color again because I like it so much. And then we're ready. Now we have our four little cups. We have the canvas and of course we have the push pins and the little pegs in the side. And what I want to do is put them on evenly. So one there, one there. Oops, flipped out a little bit. One there and one there. And we're going to pour the white in the middle and around. like that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to make it move a little bit. Eh, it could have been a little thinner. I still see that it's pretty thick. Okay. 
Then I'm going to torch the white because of the little bubbles in it. And then we're going to take them off. And I'm going to put the cups into each other so they can do some uh, leaking into each other. So I have some for the corners. I think I have more than enough paint. Oops, don't want to lose all the color. And down here. And down there. Ew, did lose a lot of color there. Now let's see what we got. Okay, I like the simplicity of everything and I like how the blues uh, react with each other. The only thing I don't like is I'm going to manipulate a little bit because I wanted that white bit off and right now it's off, so that's good. I think this is uh, pretty. Too bad that's a little bit too thick because I can see the color underneath, but it, the white is too thick to bring up the uh, uh, the colors, but that's okay. Uh, let's see down here. I got everything covered. Yeah, I think it's a, a pretty little pour. There you go, the corner. I'm just going to leave it like this and... Uh, I really like the white in the middle here. So that's basically how it's done. You put the flip cups on and then you pour all around them and then you get these um, negative space things. So uh, this is uh, pretty much uh, it. Let me bring it in a little closer so you can see. There they are. There it is. Okay, let me put this away. Um, where's my little rag? Oh, here it is. So I'd like to do uh, a few little squishes with the rest. Just to see uh, what we can make of this. So we're going to scoop it up, maybe one with only these beautiful lines in it, because that's sort of really pretty. I'm going to let it come down a little bit. See that? I kind of like the way that moves. Maybe just a, a little bit of cells. Just in the middle there, that's kind of uh, more than enough. And then I want to do one where I got a lot of dark color because I'll make a new blues tomorrow for the bigger piece. So I'm going to scoop that up. And we're going to see what happens when we do this. That is kind of nice. That I like. This not so much. These are, uh, the veins are too, uh, too much apart but I think this piece here I can keep so I'm gonna keep that one then we're gonna use a little bit more
put that on. And I haven't done a feather pour this weekend. Got to do that tomorrow. Can't help it, I really like it. of nice pieces in that one now again um, I, I would really like to because a lot of people are, are really scared when I do the uh, torching of my uh, squish in my hand but I'll show you that you don't have to be scared there we go let's see a little bit more there here it is on my hand and there it is See that because that's really all we do guys I'm just warming it you know by by doing this with my torch all you do is really just warm it up a little bit now if this was really hot you would see my uh, glove sort of melt <laughs> yeah and you'd see me jump up and down and you'd hear me cry out in pain <laughs> But by doing this, you're just activating that silicone. And I'm telling you, it's not even warm at all. So um, that's, that's how much you torch. And by doing that, you're only warming it, I'd say, I don't know, not even 40, uh, 40 Celsius. But it's enough to bring up that silicone. And you shouldn't be torching any more than that, because then you're burning the paint. You'll get these skins on top. And if you get skins on top, you're going to um, uh, set yourself up for a paint cracking because you're torching it too much and drying the surface. And and uh, if you do that, that's just, you know, it's going to make a mess. So uh, just do like this. Just no more than that. That's more than enough. You can see it pop up. Look at that. Oops, you're not in focus. See how I'm just tapping it? And sometimes uh, the, these colors sort of mix together and then all of a sudden they're... Let me get you in close. Because all of a sudden they start to turn into that uh, Delft blue that Holland is uh, famous for. I really love that. I love those colors. Well, anything blue really, but uh, this is really uh, something I like to do. Let's see. Yeah, now, now not so much. I think because I don't have enough white. Let's put some more white on there. There you go. There it comes. That really looks like that Dell's blue color. I like that. I'm gonna let this dry. Oh no, because I have to paint tomorrow. It takes uh, at least three three days before this is dry. I'm gonna take you guys down in a bit. I'm taking off my gloves because I want to show you. Um, well, I can get one off. Let's see. Remember this week when I did this one? See, there's a lot of gold in here. Everything that's brown is gold. But it's just basically a piece of plastic where I uh, swiped over uh, all the paint that was on the table. So this is how you can um, um, uh, keep uh, your skins and then you don't waste anything because this is kind of pretty here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it out anyway, put it on a piece of cardboard and then let it dry. But here you can see uh, a piece of it. And when it's really dry... This was from last Wednesday, so I'm going to let it dry a little bit more. But when it's really dry, you can just peel it off. Now, uh, I want to show you the dried pieces I did. So, I'll be right back. Now, the studio is a mess. As you can see, let me get you out there. 
See that? That's a big mess. Here's a big mess, 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 all big mess. Okay, sorry about that. But uh, these are the pieces that I've uh, I did last weekend and Wednesday. This is the uh, this one, this one, and oops, that one. That's that three piece thing I did. And here are the swipes I did. They're all dried up now. But as you can see, they always stay the same. Nothing really uh, turns to mush if you have the right paint consistency. And we have this one. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm starting to, uh, I'm not sure if you can see how nice and smooth this is. But I'm varnishing them. This one too. You can see the gold in it. See how nice and smooth it is. Only a couple of things, but that's um, you know what's in the uh, in the paint. That's another one, and we have this one, which has really nice little glitters in it. Okay, guys, just wanted to show you that one. Oh yeah, and this one. Oh no, that that's the card, and then this is uh, another painting. This one's still drying. Have to still uh, varnish that one. I'll show you a little outside.